How many times have you had this happen? You're exploring a cave or a tomb and you come across a sweet chest that's just too high level for you, or a door you simply can't find a key for blocks your path. Well, fear not friends, cause Get Shivers got you covered with today's slightly different 5 minute Morrowind, where we're going to be taking a look at some of Morrowind's less conventional methods for bypassing a stubborn lock. The most obvious tool to use is a traditional lockpick. Lockpicks come in various levels, apprentice, journeyman, master, and grandmaster. There are also matching probes in the game for disarming traps. The first section of today's video will be presented with the assistance of our newest character, the sneak thief Khajiit known as Waffles. The first method is very simple. We're going to Vivek to meet a seldom visited character, Jarasha, in his healing shop down in the foreign quarter canal works. He sells some interesting spells, like the staple on Ducey's open door, opening up to 50 points on touch, and strong open, which is the same as on Ducey's, as well as wild open, casting open between 1 and 100 points on touch. The last two are unique to this vendor, and all cost 15 magic at a cast. Simple enough for those with the skill to cast, if a bit unreliable at higher lock levels. Method number two is going to require some prep, so I went ahead and got Proceus's ring and Ajira's mushrooms. If you need a guide on that, I happen to have one that should be appearing in the corner of your screen. Method two solves the casting problem by giving us a key to every door and container that can be unlocked. For this, we need to head to Balmora and join the Mages Guild, then head downstairs to another cool cat, Ajira. Ask her about duties and she'll ask you for mushrooms. Looks like she wants to take a little trip this weekend. Give her what she wants, and she'll ask you to go steal everything valuable from her rival. At least, that's what I think she said, so that's what I'm gonna do. Head upstairs to the top floor and steal everything off of Galbadir's desk. Now that we have these nifty-filled soul gems, we need to find an enchanter that isn't a certain Bosmer in a gaudy robe that we may or may not have just ripped off. I'm going to Aldrune to see Tanar. We want to take Proceus's ring, or any other jewelry sufficient to carry the enchantment, and one of the larger soul gems, plus the open spell we learned earlier. Set it to at least 60 to 100 points on touch, as this is where Unducey's scrolls break down, and you should be in the range of 30,000 gold. There are various ways to go about making this. I went with stealing a lot of stuff and selling it to Creeper, as well as spamming a few Dark Brotherhood assassins, and got there in about an hour. Well worth it for the utility offered by this little piece of jewelry. For the last method, we're going to be swapping over to our usual orc character. Since this will really screw with the Thieves Guild questline and Waffles is interested in working for them, but that's a series for another day. We need to return to Vivek's Foreign Quarter Canal Works. On the opposite corner from where we found Jarasha, we'll find Sabine Frownley's bookshop. In the back is a level 65 locked door. Fortunately, this character also has a magic open ring. So, we waltz right past the meager security to find a well-dressed red guard man and his Dunmer associate. This is Gentleman Jim Stacy, a master thief in the guild and so, a primary you quest from? giver. You're supposed to do his quest to get this special tool, but we're not doing that today. Nope, this way is much simpler. I'm not giving up that Okay, with him out of the way, we now have a wicked artifact. You didn't think I was going to do a 5 minute Morrowind without one, did you? Here we have the legendary skeleton key. It only has 50 uses, so be smart about when you break it out, but it's a surefire way to open locks without needing magicka or item charges. I recommend getting multiple methods just to be safe. Let me know in the comments what crazy things you find with these methods. And again, if you found this helpful, informative, or even entertaining, leave a like or subscribe so I know what content you want to see. Until the next one, I've been Gitshiver and this has been 5 Minute Morrowind. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later!